Now, a new board of directors is in the process of reviving the Miriam Makeba Center for Girls in Midrand. It was founded by the late global icon in 1999 to provide a home for destitute and or abused girls between the ages of 11 and 18. The center shut its doors in 2018 and it's now in a dilapidated state and neglected. News from Africa, Zikona Chona is at the center to bring us a bit more details. Zikona, very good morning to you. Uh, it's sad to see an icon's work now being um, dilapidated and um, really not being taken care of. Certainly, Paul, this is, something, this is something we should not be proud of as South Africa, to see the center in this state, a band and musical instrument, a neglected library, and behind me, just over there, is a neglected as well as damaged farming area. So it has not been used since 2018, as you've mentioned. This center, the intention behind founding it was to take care of girls who have experienced abuse, to give them a space to live in and equip them with skills. So here they would come and be able to swim as well as read books. It's a very important part of our history to make sure that we nurture as South Africa the legacy and times of Mamumiri and Makeba. But to see the center like this in the state that it's in is certainly very devastating. So there is a new board that has come in now and is, is trying to rope in South Africa and business to come together to see what we can do to make sure that we revive this legacy of uh, Mamiri and Makeba. As I've spoken to them earlier and they say and many artists who come to South, South Africa want to see some archive material of Mamumiri and Makeba but when they come here and they can't even be brought here in fact because of the state that the center is in. But to talk to me more about the work of the new board and its intention and what plans are in place to revive this legacy is Tiamo de Chabe from the Center for Girls. As you can just tell us, how did we get here? Let's start there. How did we get here? Um, thank you very much, Zikona, for giving us this opportunity. Um, as you rightfully said, you know, when we came in as the new part of the new board, we realized that Mama's legacy was going into waste. But we must also clarify that the center was closed um, due to the department also giving us uh, 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 an audit to indicate that we are not in the right space to host the girls. Mm -hmm. So ever since then, we have not really been able to open up. Um, but now we are appealing to South Africans to say we have a very new, um, energized, youthful board um, that is going to be taking care of Mamai Makeba's legacy. And as such, we are in the process of reviving the center. Um, we will be having a Mandela Day event, so we're inviting the community of Medrand and Johannesburg to join us uh, on Mandela Day, as we're going to be painting, um, fixing up the library, fixing up the office, but most importantly also trying to set up the rooms where we can house these girls again. As you know, that we have a scourge on gender-based violence um, in South Africa, and this creates that halfway house where young people can be taken care of, especially women um, that we need to take care of and make sure that they've got a better future. What kind of help are you looking for? I know that the centre at the moment does not have electricity, but how else can South Africans help? Um, at this point, we, as you can see, the, the painting uh, needs to be redone. Um, the swimming pool where we used to teach the young girls on how to swim needs to be fixed. Um, the hydroponics tunnels there at the back where we want to train in um, young girls and, and get them into agriculture. They would also need to, to, to be fixed up. Um, one of the, the key components of our programs going forward is to, to capacitate girls. Because you know, my mama Keba was the, the goodwill ambassador for FAO, uh, the Food and Agricultural Organization, and she advocated for food security. She advocated to ensure that girls are, are nourished properly, and therefore we want to revive such and such training for the girls. And in fact, today, the great-grandson of Mamriya Makeba, Lee Makeba, is here. How do you feel about seeing your, your great-grandmother's legacy like this? Well, as I said, it's um, a bit of mixed emotions. Um, it is a little bit sad to see the state that we're in right now. I do believe that we, as, as a community, as a country, we can do a lot more for our fallen heroes. And right now, this is, this is a monument, not only to her, but to 
the spirit of Ubuntu, the spirit of, of Africanacity. Um, so I think right now, as much as I am filled with a little bit of disappointment, I'm also filled with so much optimism because I've seen how much support a lot of people have been willing to give and how much um, people are really interested in getting involved. So I look forward to, to us getting into a better state and ensuring that the future of these ladies is secure. Great stuff. Thank you so much. That's Lee Makeba, who is the great grandson of the late global icon, Maria Makeba, just saying that they are calling to all South Africans to come and lend a hand in ensuring that this center is revived. So on Nelson Mandela Day, on the Monday, they are inviting people to come here and offer what ever help they can. There's painting that needs to be done. There's gardening that, that needs to be done just to make sure that this center is revived again and that young girls from around this community, in particular in Midrand, have a, a safe place that they can go to to get whatever support they need or to, to just learn to play a musical instrument. It's sad to see the late icons piano just sitting there and not being used and her hope was that it would be used by young girls to learn to play music in this area. Very well, Zikona Chona, let's uh, leave it there for now, of course, hoping to see a major turnaround at that uh, centre.